Yo, Elliot, I'm working as an engineer in Austria. I am from Peru. It is my first full-time work in Austria after my master's and my residency is linked to my job. So I'm working a lot to perform. My ex and I live three hours apart and due to the focus on work, she did not like the fact that our relationship was only over the weekends since I was completely focused on my work from Monday to Thursday and she broke up with me. I did, I was aware of social dynamics and we did have fun together a lot. Now I'm focusing on my own goals, money, fitness, work, family, and friends. What advice would you give to me in my situation? I just started, I just turned 30. Some might say I have one-itis, but she really has a lot of green flags. Yeah, she has a lot of green flags, but she's gone. She left. Don't ever call back for, come crawling to, be needy for a woman that leaves you. When a woman is done, she's done. It might be different. I think men are a little different in this way, but essentially when a woman is done, she's done. And she's done. She left already. Move on. If you want some advice, I would say add one more thing to your list. You got money, you got fitness, you got work, you got family, you got friends. I would say faith. Because if you have faith, you don't chase women. That's why I always say monk or marriage, right? It's one or the other because that, that, that hole needs to be filled somehow, right? And if we fill it with worldly things, it's like the guy who, who uh, filled up his grain silos, right? Money goes away. Fitness, you're gonna grow old, it's gonna go away. You could injure yourself. Work could go away. And the money that you're working for could go away, right? Financial collapse. Family, they're flesh, they can die. Friends, they could turn on you, right? Sacramental marriage is a spiritual union. It's forever. It's becoming one with someone. You say one-itis. One-itis, I'm not against one-itis when it's rightly ordered. Meaning I have one-itis for my wife and she has one-itis for me. And based on spiritual and natural law, we can't go anywhere else. That's it. We're linked. We're hooked. We're contracted for life, right? I know that sounds so scary to people, but that's why y'all are so freaking weak. Everybody's afraid of that, right? That's why marriage and family doesn't work, quite frankly, right? Nobody, nobody, people don't think this way any longer. So if you have one itis for a woman that you have no authority over, well, then that sucks, right? That's like being a that's like being a, a, addicted to something that you can't have, right? My mother used to say, that's like looking at Christmas and not spending it. It's like, well, yeah, I'm looking at all this nice stuff and I'm, I'm enjoying the presence of it, but it's not mine. I can't, it, I really have nothing. You're just entertaining yourself with her. You guys are just having fun together. You say you had a lot of fun together, but she stopped having fun with you. She's not interested in having fun with you anymore. So you need to let go of her and let God, let God into your life. I will say this too. I, I have all this talk about, you know, being an authority and, you know, a woman submitting to her husband and things of this nature. None of that really works in a secular way. You know that because, well, the government is in charge. A man who does not have authority from God the Father has zero authority because authority comes down from above. You're just a rogue dude running around and women don't respect a man without authority. She will become your authority. Guarantee, mark my word, that if you don't have an authority in the Lord, your wife becomes your authority. Because rather than asking the Lord what to do, you look to your wife. This is where all these men that say happy wife, happy life go wrong. They seek their wife's validation. No, if you have validation from God, the Father Almighty, you don't need validation from your woman. You need her inclusion. You need to enroll her in what you're doing, but you're in charge. Not so if you're a fornicator, she's in charge. You're fornicating, she's in charge. And guess what? She's in charge, so she left. 
You have nothing there, dude. Sorry. I want to sound harsh, but you have nothing there. You have nothing there unless you bring her under the mantle of your authority through marriage and it be sacramental in that you have that authority from above. Otherwise, you're just a government pawn. You're just a dude. You're just a dude. Me? I'm a son of God, a son of the almighty. That means I take my authority from above. I don't carry that like a banner of some sort of uh, arrogant privilege. That is a responsibility. You have no responsibility. You have no authority. And that's... That's my answer to that, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.